What's up? So I got a couple of new quads in the mail, and these are twigs. And, uh, you know, they got me thinking twig, toothpick, four-inch whoop, center whoop, power whoop, uh, tiny whoop. Uh, there are lots of different names for drones out there, especially when we're talking about drones uh, like these FPV drones. So I thought maybe we could talk a little bit about, you know, what makes a twig versus a toothpick. Uh, what's a micro, uh, a power whoop, a center whoop? Four inches, seven inch. What are we talking about? VTX, um, all that stuff. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. Start by talking about what's between a toothpick and a twig. And uh, you know, there's no real definition. So it's kind of you know, what do I think? What do, what have I heard from others? Um, I'm gonna say this here in my right hand. Your left. This. Uh, Diatone Mamba deal uh, 229. Um, this is a toothpick. And uh, there are a couple things that I think make it a toothpick. And, you know, I'm not the expert. Toothpick uh, is a design, comes from Bob Rugi, Kebab FPV. He's a dentist. He loves flying small things. So that's where the name came from. Anyway, there are a couple things that I think make it a toothpick. Toothpicks are essentially big whoops and uh, without ducted propellers. So you can't have ducks. Um, and I think it's got to be 50 grams or less and flying a 1 or 2S battery. Basically, they're designed to be really small, lightweight quads um, that can kind of perform outside. And uh, this one is my favorite, Ditone 229. Uh, really love flying this thing. I actually took it out in the park yesterday. It flies so much like a big drone. And that's what makes these things awesome. Uh, toothpicks are great for beginners because they're not nearly as big, loud, or dangerous as uh, a 5-inch. Talk about that in a second. Um, but you can really do some fun things, right? So they perform well, they're great for acro. And how is that different than this? This is the HGLRC uh, Parrot 120. This is probably currently my favorite twig. So what makes this a twig? Well, twigs are slightly bigger than toothpicks. Uh, generally speaking, they're 50 grams and up. I think this one's 57. You can run on a 2S, 3S, and a 4S battery, right? Toothpicks, I think it's important that you're flying on one or 2S. What does all the S means? I'll talk about that in a second, right? But twigs are slightly larger than toothpicks. Really, that's what it is. Um, they're not quite as lightweight. They're going to carry a little bit more mass, and you can put bigger batteries on them so they can be a little bit more powerful. And again, they're going to perform a little bit more like a larger 5-inch quad. All right, so I got a couple of more traditional uh, FPV quads here. Um, and this is a 5-inch, and this is a 4-inch. When I say 5-inch, I'm talking about the propeller. Um, it's 5 inches, right? Uh, this is a four inches, four inches. Uh, again, we're talking about size, propeller size, all right? You might hear someone talk about a two inch, a three inch, four inch, five inch, uh, not many six inches out there. Uh, behind me back here, this guy here, seven inch quad, right? So FPV, a lot of times we talk about the size of the drone, not so much uh, any of this in here. Um, technically we're just talking about the propeller when we say four inch, five inch. Now, five inch is kind of like the standard classic, right? This is what most people fly. This is what most people race. And these are a lot of fun, super powerful, uh, big motors. Uh, but really, if you ask me, I like flying my four inch smaller drones, right? They're quieter. They're less noisy. They don't bring crowds. Um, and they're safer, right? The less mass that you have flying through the air, uh, you know, the safer they are. Lighter drones tend to break less, right? So there are a lot of advantages of flying smaller quads. Um, highly, highly recommend it. Unless you have big open places, uh, there are good places to fly five inches in, in a whole lot of neighborhoods, right? You want to go small, right? And probably the smallest, right, are the whoops or the tiny whoops. So let's talk about what's a tiny whoop. So this is a whoop. Um, in fact, I would call this a tiny whoop. Tiny whoop actually goes back to uh, Jesse Perkins and uh, Inductrixes and throwing cameras on there. It's actually a specific kind of uh, drone, but people have kind of adopted tiny whoop as like the uh, generic Kleenex of these drones, right? When we say tiny whoop, we mean um, 65 to 75 millimeter ducted drone. So 65 to 75 millimeters, that's the distance here. That's generally how we... Uh, measure these quads. Um, this is actually 75 millimeters. Uh, ducks are these things on the outside. They have some uh, neat characteristics. So the ducks are basically uh, to help make it stable, but also they protect the propellers and they do a really nice job of that. So these things are great for flying indoors, right? Tiny whoop, 65 to 75 millimeter 
ducted. Now you can have brushed or brushless motors. Brushless motors, that's what this guy has. This is my favorite Tiny Whoop, the Tiny Hawk S. Um, this has brushless motors. Brushless motors are more powerful, they're more efficient, and they tend to last longer. They're also a little bit more expensive, so there's the drawback. But yeah, I love this thing. Love it for flying indoors. I uh, love it for the winter. Um, I live in Chicago. It gets cold, so this is what I fly in the winter. So that's a tiny whoop. Now, there are things like called power whoops now. Now, what's a power whoop? Again, whoop referring to the ducks. Um, and power meaning it has more power. Really, anything that's bigger than 75 millimeters... I want to say this one's 85. It'll fly in bigger battery, right? This one flies on, I think, a 3, maybe a 4S battery. I'd have to look. Um, and that's a, a power whoop. Something with ducks, more power, right? Bigger batteries. Um, and this is actually a cine whoop, right? Cine meaning cinematic, meaning you can capture cinematic footage. This actually comes with a, an interesting, you can see, yeah, I broke this here, but an interesting camera called the Tarsier, where one of these is my FPV camera, the other... Um, shoots my uh, HD footage. This actually shoots in 4K. It'll record on board. It's a pretty decent picture, but it's not quite good enough for, you know, really good cinematic footages. So people are building their own Cinewhoops, which I did. Uh, you can check out that uh, that video. It's pretty uh, pretty fun. This is a Cinewhoop, cinematic whoop. Um, again, whoop meaning ducks, but you can see this is bigger um, and it can carry a larger camera. In this case, my run cam. I can even strap on my GoPro here and that will work for this. But this, you can get much better footage. You can see bigger propellers in here, bigger motors. This is actually a three inch, right? Three inch propellers, um, but bigger motors there. So let's talk about, you know, 2S battery, 4S battery, VTX. What are some of those other things that people are always talking about when they're talking FPV stuff? All right, batteries. Uh, people will often say 1S, 2S. What is all of that um, size and stuff? Uh, let's talk real quick, right? This is a 1S battery, S meaning cell. This is a 2S battery, meaning two cells. Um, this one is slightly smaller, 450 milliamp hours versus 550, right? So there are basically two 550 cells in here uh, wired together, right? Then we have, these are four S's, right? One, two, three, four batteries in here. One, two, three, four. Um, these are 450. So basically, I've got four of these guys in this package wired up together. I get four times the power, essentially. And this is, again, a four cell battery, but a little bit bigger. You can see 1500 milliamp hours, right? So just the size of the battery inside gets a little bit larger. All of that matters because the more cells you have, the more power that your your drone can generate. Now, you can't just throw any battery on any drone. You kind of have to do some research. Some motors can handle it. Um, some ESCs can handle it. Some uh, flight controllers can handle it. The flight controller, think of that as the computer, the brains of the drone. The ESCs, that's where the power gets translated um, and then pushed out to the motors uh, that do all the work. VTX is the video transmitter. We have to send a signal back to the goggles um, so that I can see what I'm doing. Um, and uh, typically small drones uh, have low milliwatts, like uh, the Tiny Hawk flies 25. Uh, some of these bigger drones I can fly up to 200, 400, 1000, right? It all kind of depends on the VTX that you get. So hopefully some of that is uh, helpful information for you. You know what, if I didn't answer a question or you have one that uh, came up while I was filming here, uh, just drop it in the comments below and uh, I'll be sure to get back to you. Hey, thanks for uh, watching. Good luck and happy flying.